Well, if you'd have told me uh, Gregory was going to score two points and uh, our bench was going to go two of 16, uh, I would, and we'd shoot 38% as a team, there, I would have said there's no way we could win this game. Uh, fortunately, our, our defense was adequate enough. And, you know, Indiana State missed a couple shots down in deep. Uh, that gave us an opportunity. Uh, but we had guys make big plays. Giants hits a big three late to shot clock. Uh, Antoine hits the switch against the big. Instead of driving it, he, he, he shot his little step back. And, uh, Doug, after having a rough half the first half, came up huge for us the second half. So it, it was uh, we haven't had many wins where we've won ugly this year. Um, we've won with really efficient offense and some gaudy offensive numbers. And uh, Indiana State did not allow that today. I I didn't think they got much early in the shot clock. I thought we made them work for it, and, and they spread us out and got us off the dribble some. But uh, I, I thought we, we challenged some shots. I thought we made Walker's uh, looks inside difficult. I mean, we were okay playing him one on one, and uh, you know he, he scores 15 points, but he also missed nine shots, which is. Most of the time when he misses those shots, we're going to be in pretty good rebounding position. So uh, we have the luxury with Gregory to be able to play him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and uh, you know, we did a good enough job on their shooters that we, we didn't let him uh, get, in, get in any real rhythm. The uh, first half foul trouble, how concerned were you and stuck them back in there for that? Short period of time, and but, got four points out. Of yeah, it was that was that was key that Doug was able to go in and do that, and uh, you know, I, I like the, the matchup enough, and, and uh, we weren't going to take any chances with him for very long. Uh, but Ethan had been out there a long time, and we we needed uh, a little shot in the arm offensively, and, and uh, I felt like it was important maybe to get Doug going right before halftime if we could. Uh, so that that was big for us that Doug was able to do that. Uh, having said that, you know, we, we've got to eliminate some of the foolish fouls. Doug's second one was 94 feet from, from their basket. Uh, you know, Gregory's Gregory's first one was a was a foolish foul, and, and those add up in the end. So uh, we've got to play a little smarter basketball at times. Are you concerned at all about the inability to finish out first halves last two three games? You know, it's odd, Piv, because that, that was our strength for a good right. portion of the season. And you know, part of it today is the foul trouble. You know, we we had an odd combination out there at the end of the half. And, and they went on a little run. Uh, one of the threes, I think, was Prinny's in transition, right. where Jawhands just got stuck a little deep protecting the basket when he probably didn't need to. Um, but uh, we had an opportunity for some separation there, up 28-21. We didn't take advantage of it. And I guess the same question I asked the guys. At this point, are you concerned at all about the inability to hit consistently from outside? In our last game, we made 10 out of 17. Right. So, uh, and as the guys said, I thought three or four of Ethan's misses were halfway down and rattled out. I'll be honest, if he can get it open, if he can get a good look at a three every possession, we'll right. take it. And I think he's that good of a shooter, uh, and we're certainly not going to begin to lose any confidence in him. Thank you. Any other questions? Thanks. Thank you.